Hey, this is Stefan Kohler for Raw Exchange. Today I'm going to show you three things you need to know about the Healing Brush tool. First, in Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5, you can change the Healing Brush to the old algorithm. And I think this is pretty handy. So if you go to Preferences, Tools, you can click use legacy healing algorithm for the healing brush and i recommend to do this this is really really a good thing so the healing brush tool how does the healing brush tool work let's create an empty layer and if you press the alt key you can uh, sample an area and then you can start painting this is pretty awesome to create, um, to do a lot of things. Actually, I'm using this for uh, my skin work on, on models a lot. And it's pretty handy because it's a really, really fast process and it does a really, really good job. But however, there is one problem. And this problem is if you paint over a corner, a sharp edge or something like that, you have a problem because the problem is it's bleeding into the uh, color so you have a lot of bad information what you actually want is a sharp edge here so you can avoid this by sampling on the actual edge so and now if you move the the mouse you can see the edge and you place the edge right there and then you can start painting and so the healing brush does a very, very good job, um, even on hard edges. This is pretty awesome. So this is one thing you need to know. If you have hard edges, then start with the hard edges, place the um, healing brush on the correct position and do it like this. One thing, um, never try to repair something like that. Just start over and um, do it again it's most of the time i think and yeah actually all the time if you try to repair something you messed up with the healing brush it's not going to work <clears throat> so if i jump to this um, face here one thing people think is if i put down the hardness it will work better than with a, a very hard brush. So I'm going to show you why it's a bad idea. So if I paint over the skin, it does a pretty good job. So you can remove all the wrinkles and all the um, temporary issues here in the face. But however, it will also create some blur if you paint over several times. So you will end up with a somehow strange texture on on the area you're painting so as more you paint the more you mess up the skin here so as you can see here you got a very very strange texture um, this is because if i use it with a um, with a very soft edge let's create a new layer so I can show you better so paint in and if I have a look a closer look at this layer I get this soft edge here um, this soft edge if I do it again and again and again this soft edge will add up and um, so I get something from the first layers and something from the from the second stroke from the third stroke and so on and so I'm creating more and more blur. So the best way to use the healing brush is with 100% hardness. Some people say 70 to 100. I say a 100 because if I want to have a hard edge, then I'm using the full hardness. So let's see what I'm doing here. So I can remove all this stuff and it does a pretty good job. Some people are afraid that they get some strange lines. I get a strange line here, but this is because I choose the wrong um, sample point. So let's see what the healing brush does here. 
So this is a very hard edge and um, it does a pretty good job in adjusting color and luminance and just replacing the texture, which is basically what I want to do. So I can really, really work super fast and without including or uh, inviting new problems with uh, the soft edge. So the texture stays intact and this is what I want. So second thing you need to know about the healing brush and the healing brush is a very, very powerful tool. <coughs> what you need to know is uh, you use it with a very, very hard edge. Same goes for the stamp tool. If you are stamping on, on textures like this, you are probably going to use a very hard edge. So this was Stefan for the Raw Exchange. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one, and you can subscribe to us down here.